Hey guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So today, I have so much stuff to talk about. This is going to be an update video on my series where I take you along with me on my collecting journey of trying to grow my Super Nintendo collection. So we did this by going to the grand opening of Retro Replay, a new video game store in Bel Air, Maryland, and boy did I score some pretty amazing items. So today we're going to talk about some of the awesome Super Nintendo items and how we are one step closer to completing that set along with a couple other little hidden gems. So today, let's go ahead and see what I scored. So last time we talked about Retro Replay, it was actually the day before the grand opening and they had so much stuff to get done before they unveiled their brand new store and boy is this place going to take pretty much all of my money. So when I went to this grand opening, I actually got there about an hour early and I knew that there were a couple items that I was on the lookout for, whether it be a couple games and a video game system that I did not have in my personal collection. So I already knew that I wanted quite a few items. So I actually went there and kind of scoped out a little bit as I was there. And when they opened up the door, I did not think that there was going to be over 40 people coming in on their grand opening. They had shelves upon shelves of so much stuff. So I just loved looking at all of these games that you just don't see every single day. I just saw so much stuff that I knew I would definitely come back for if it didn't already sell. So this store is just so awesome. They had so much stuff literally for every single video game system. They had tons of video game systems that you just don't see every day. They had some of the obscure ones. So we'll go ahead and get this one out of the way. This is something that I saw them actually get in at their little smaller location, which is not a full-time store. It's only a part-time flea market spot that they actually have. And I saw them get in this amazing console and I knew I had to have it because it's something different, something that you just don't see every day. So right here, this will give it away if you know. It actually has this controller for this weird video game system. Of course I got some of the cables and the plugs that go along with it but this right here was something that I knew I needed to have <laughs> so this right here is not a VCR this is a Philips CDI this video game system it's actually a multimedia system that plays so much it was so expensive when it came out and it's something that a lot of people just don't have so I knew that I had to have one of these in my video game collection and right here it says Philips on it and this just kind of opens up so you could go ahead and put in the games and anything else that you're going to use it does have a pretty decent weight to it with all of this other stuff on here it really does look just like some sort of VCR so this is something that I definitely had to score and I am so thrilled that I did because I definitely got it for an amazing deal and then they had so many games and other items for it, but one game in particular, a lot of people actually collect these for their crazy Nintendo games that they had on the system. Now they did not have any of the Zelda games, but they did have good old Hotel Mario. So this is in fairly decent shape. The slip cover right here has some of the sticker residue on here that I tried to peel off. So. This right here, it says an original Mario Brothers game available only on the CDI. Bowser has taken over the Mushroom Kingdom, transforming it into his own personal resort. He's put a Koopaling in charge of each of the seven hotels in the kingdom. Even worse, he's captured Princess Toadstool and is holding her prisoner. Only you and Mario can free the princess. You must drive out the creepy Koopalings from each hotel one by one. You'll combat Koopas, Goombas, Wigglers, Parabombs, Buzzy Beetle, Spiny, Monty Mole, and of course the list goes on. 
So this right here, it says full motion, full screen animation, original music, CD quality, audio, and sound effects, touchpad, controller recommended. So this comes with this little slip cover and I'm just thrilled to go ahead and check out this game right here. And I'm sure it's going to be an adjustment playing it with this controller here. So this is just one of those weird systems that I wasn't sure that I'd find local. But I'm so glad that I did because this is going to definitely be an amazing addition to my collection. Definitely have to be on the lookout for the Zelda games. Now of course while we're here. We'll go ahead and talk about some of the amazing items that they had in their showcases. They just had so many expensive games. They had Hagane, they had Metal Warriors, they had, even for the 32X, they had Web of Fire, the Spider-Man game. A lot of these items actually sold on day one, so it was pretty crazy to see, but they just keep getting even more stuff. I even went back a day or so after and they were getting a huge Sega Saturn kind of lot in. And it was one of their trade-ins that they actually purchased. So they had tons of amazing games. One of them that I definitely need is going to be House of the Dead. That is a amazing light gun game. So that is actually really cool. This is the action figure set. So there are quite a few others in the set here. But this one I actually thought was really cool. This is Johnny with axes and these frogs here so this one is actually a really neat figure set and it just is a little bit dusty so I'll have to go ahead and clean this up it should probably actually brighten up a bit as well so this one is definitely pretty cool on the back here it shows all four of the different characters and I actually just got this in I'm still doing a little bit of research on it so this is actually a prototype head of this particular character right here so the sculpt is actually a lot larger as when they go ahead and kind of design and go through these usually they are a bit larger so this is something that i'm still trying to do a little bit of research on but i just wanted to show you guys now and then along with the figure i actually got what we're all here for all of these super nintendo games and one of these is a very rare variant so i don't want you guys to miss out so in my series, where I'm kind of going along this journey of adding Super Nintendo games to my collection, we're usually trying to do so without spending a crazy amounts of money. But for a grand opening, I kind of saw that as a time where I want to help support the store. I want it to do very well as they have helped me over the years and they're just amazing people there. They just have so much cool stuff in this store that I didn't even have to worry about purchasing some of these games as some of these do go for a little bit more and then one of the games here is actually a very rare variant which i did not even know and i was lucky enough to get that from them as well they definitely thought of me in that so we left off the past week with some really amazing items in my super nintendo set that i'm going for whether it be that really awesome Super Nintendo standee that I got for the Mortal Kombat 2 game, even the poster I had gotten even earlier, and just some really cool items from around that time frame like that Street Fighter 2 electronic fighting style game. That is definitely a win. So now back into the games trying to go for a full set as there are about 721 games. We left off with about 153 or so. So we're going to add four more, well actually five more, but only four will count for the set because one of them is a variant and I already have the game. So up first we have this game. This is The Mask. This is definitely modeled after the movie. Such a wacky, fun title. Of course you have Jim Carrey in it. Just so much crazy stuff. Definitely screams back in the day. That nostalgia really hits home with this. And then this is a very similar style game. It does model after the movie, just has all of this wacky stuff going on. So this is one of those games that I'm definitely looking forward to really going through and seeing what this game has to offer as I love the movie. I love how they did action figures and everything else for this. So this is definitely a cool title and I'm thrilled to add this one is it's one that I have not really seen before until I went into the store. And then this game right here, this is going to be a beat-em-up style. This is Sonic Blast Man. 
So I did not realize how much the second one was worth and I'm so glad that I have that already in the set because that game is a few hundred dollars. This one is way cheaper. So this right here is a beat em up style and it's something that I definitely want to go ahead and play but I'm so thankful to knock it off the list for a very inexpensive price compared to the second version of this. And then this one I actually found to be a pretty interesting game. Another one that I had not seen. So I was really trying to go for games that I just have not seen before. This one is Operation Logic Bomb. So this one is one of those kind of top down kind of action games where you just kind of run around and explore. Of course there are tons of weapons and everything else. So this is a game that I definitely want to play and kind of try this game out as I've heard some pretty decent things about it. So this was definitely a pretty cool score as well and this one was not very expensive. So all of these minus the mask I think was the most expensive one. And then this one right here I had heard some pretty amazing things about this wrestling game. We have right here this Saturday Night Slam Masters. So this one actually looks like a really fun wrestling style game on the Super Nintendo. One that you could just play with some of your friends and have a blast pretty much a lot of these games I really want to kind of play with some of my friends and see how these games actually play so if you guys have played any of these four games definitely let me know in the comments below because I'm always looking to see what you guys think as well and if there's any very similar to these just let me know but this game right here is the one that I am so excited to have as when I first looked at it, I knew something was off with it. I just couldn't put my finger on it. And I'm so thankful that they let me kind of have this game as first grabs. So this right here is Super R-Type. This is an upside down label. So as you can tell, this does not have any rips or peeling marks on this label here in any of the corners so this was actually a factory error game so this is a pretty rare game to find nowadays as back in the day nintendo had that nintendo seal of quality right there where everything had to be perfect it had to be pristine stuff like this just really didn't happen but there have been quite a few people who have found certain games with this label upside down and this is not a repro label this is not something that someone actually put like this this is something that was originally done back in the day as you can tell and this part right here should be up at the top and of course this should be flipped all around so this is definitely a pretty cool grab right here and i'm so excited to add this into my super nintendo collection so once again, we started with 153, now we have 157. It would have been 158, but I'm not counting that game as a part of the set. It's more of some sort of variant. But overall, I had a blast at Retro Replay. They really do have such an amazing store. Everyone is so helpful. And I found some pretty awesome gems in the mix here. I got a system that... I have been wanting for such a very long time even some video game figures they just have literally everything and each time I go back they're getting even more trade-ins there's Sega Saturn games that they got in even some PS2 games they've just been getting some amazing fire of pretty much everything so can't wait to go back and see if they have some more of these Super Nintendo gems even some very, very rare and uncommon items, just like this game with this label on here. Just so crazy to me to find this and to score it for such an amazing deal. This was so amazing. I'm so thankful for this. So this is so cool to have in my Super Nintendo set, which I am going for a full set. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this store, what you guys think about these games here. Do you think that I am chipping away at the 721 or so? What games do I absolutely need to add before they go up in price? What should I be looking for? Just let me know. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.